but still we are unable to understand that is basically because there are two things one body is a subatomic unit secondly the microbiome part of the body plays a role there this is very important so you if you're going to connect ldl to this now ldl is a low density lipoprotein it has been produced by the liver why because so who had fixed this so and so number of fasting and so and so number of postprandial this is a very important question type 1 type 2 gestational and i don't know how many more are there is there really a cure for all these diabetes so many medications to keep it at bay but do we really have a solution for this welcome to dr ck nandagopalan youtube channel i'm your host susan and i have here the star of the show dr ck n welcome doctor yeah hi so you want to know what are the types of diabetes yes doctor so that's going to be crazy oh <laughs> okay you have this uh, type 1 diabetes type 1 diabetes what they say uh, the pancreas pancreas is a major organ for uh, our glucose metabolism which produces insulin and amylin glucagon and uh, somatostatin and uh, so on so they control the whole show there they are the hero and uh, if ins in insulin production is not good so they say that uh, um the tool to transport uh, in, uh, sugar is not found so sugar tends to rise in the blood this is modern science understanding um if the insulin uh, production is fine the pancreas is working well and all that kind of thing so now in spite of that Uh, the, the, they call it as insulin resistance or whatever. So the insulin is uh, enough there, required, but not able to transport glucose, whatever you call it. That is type two. Gestational. This happens during pregnancy period, and uh, it settles down after that. Previously, they had uh, there's something called latent diabetes, which come in the middle age or something like that. And all now they don't give much importance to that. Then you have this. juvenile <clears throat> diabetes which hits you in the uh, younger age uh, as the child was born or whatever you know in a, in, a, in a one year old two year old three year old five year old yeah the the pan causes juvenile diabetes juvenile diabetes uh, today uh, this this our pancreatitis they call it pancreas are not uh, functioning properly uh, enough of insulin amylin is not uh, Uh, been produced so it it more of a type 1 diabetes they call it but uh, we have to you know really uh, put efforts to study uh, thyroid here so there are sometimes in children uh, uh, thyroid uh, uh, problems are there which may result in higher glucose level in the blood but if you are if you are going to mistake that for uh, pancreas malfunction then uh, the the child uh, by getting pumped with insulin will permanently uh, becomes a diabetic uh, individual so this is what is juvenile there are there are lot of studies have to be made we are not in a position to understand uh, many things in spite of so much of research has been going on in the last 50 years and then a tremendous amount of work is going on with uh, many medical schools uh, with uh, research works but still we are unable to understand that is basically because there are two things one body is a subatomic unit it works at the proton and electron level it is too difficult to go close to understand what it is secondly the microbiome part of the body plays a role there so you have uh, huge amount of different types of microorganisms are found in every organ in every part of the body including your dermis 
which the, the, the kind of role that they are playing, we are unable to go anywhere near it to understand. They are studying this under the banner of microbiome, but it is too difficult to um, study them uh, in a more fragmented manner. See, the whole approach by the modern science is a fragmented approach. So they go for more and more and more and more and more of minute details. But then, you know, after going through more and more of minute details, how, them, how, how we are going to put them together? Because everything is interdependent inside. So, See. Uh, sorry, doctor, to uh, interrupt you. So, if gestate, can gestational uh, diabetes cause juvenile diabetes? Is there a possibility? No. In my books, no. Whatever that uh, I have understood uh, going through many things, uh, first of all, diabetes mellitus is not a disease. It's not a disorder. It is a, it is a, it is a metabolic, uh, metabolic variation, that's all, I, to start with. So, if you, if you, they, 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 they talk about metabolic syndrome. You know, you know, I want you to understand what is a metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is uh, five reasons if they find in your body, then they declare that you have metabolic syndrome. You know, these, these disorders, disease, uh, syndrome, all this coining of the words, you know, they confuse you. Okay, we call about, uh, we call it a metabolic syndrome, what it is, the five things. One is accumulation of fat around your waist. Yeah, you're putting belly or adding weight or whatever it is. Second is increase in hypertension. The third is uh, increase in fasting glucose. The fourth is lowering of HDL cholesterol. The fifth one is uh, a higher part of LDL cholesterol. These five things are there. They call it as a metabolic syndrome and they call that you are a pre-diabetic and you are heading in for diabetic. So what my question is, if you find these things, and why don't we have parameters to correct this person with whatever techniques what we, what we have and then make sure that he doesn't go into diabetes mellitus. That means if, if we cannot do that, then this metabolic syndrome of these five parameters, what we have understood is correct or not. This is very important. So you're, if you're going to connect LDL to this, now, LDL is a low-density lipoprotein. It is being produced by the liver. Why? Because LDL is needed in the blood because when the photosynthesis happens in the skin, when the sunlight falls and the photosynthesis happens, where LDL is used and vitamin D, D is produced, which is very important. So, the liver is producing LDL. If you are going to shut yourself inside uh, closed rooms, and you're not going to expose yourself to sun, then photosynthesis doesn't happen, LDL is not consumed. Then body when it, you know, understands the vitamin D is low, they send command to the liver, say we need vitamin D. Liver doesn't know how much of LDL is there in the blood. He has already produced and given, it is not used. So liver gets a command and he knows only one thing to produce and give. So he starts producing and giving. You are not exposing yourself to sun, so LDL is not getting spent, so that's going up. So how do you connect this to this diabetes mellitus of glucose imbalance? This is a question. Like this, there are there a are number of questions are there, technically speaking. If you're going to go too deep technically, we won't be able to connect. Type 2 diabetes, again a, again a big, big challenge in the sense like, when the insulin is there, why the insulin is going, you know, um, uh, inaction, inactive in transporting the glucose to the human cells, that becomes another big problem. There is a, a particular uh, um, action happening in the liver as they receive all the molecules of the food absorbed through the portal vein by, from the intestines. Uh, you know, they, they scan it and there are, there are human conversions required for the cells to accept. This is one area which we are still struggling to study. The second uh, part of it is the signaling systems. So, the human cells work with signaling systems. So, now they are, they are, they are going deep into exosomes and uh, studying the 
intercellular communications and all that stuff, which is one part of what is happening inside and how you are going to connect that to major things to understand certain imbalances what's happening inside is going to be a puzzle again. So, so the, these are the type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, gestational diabetes and then you know and more so the very controversial stuff here is the number game. So, who had fixed this so and so number of fasting and so and so number of postprandial? This is a very important question why it is a fixed one when you know geographically the human species living around the world having different types of food and nutrition and different type of culture and other things. So the different types of diabetes is being uh, categorized but uh, then uh, how best that we are able to uh, in a position to understand all these things at the moment because too many uh, scientific schools have given too many contributions at the moment it is confusing because we don't have a proper cure for diabetes and uh, we are struggling with that and the and, and the and the rate of diabetic individuals are rising in the world this is what is uh, the final part of it over to you thank you doctor thank you for educating us about this let's talk more about uh, diabetes in the next episode till then it's your host susan signing off Subscribe, like and share to the people you care. Love you all.